into your arms by the lemon head. I don't know him, but you did. I do know them. Because you're so cool. You wouldn't be able to tell that that was the title from that part that we just heard. <laughs> yeah. Frontman slash heartthrob Evan Dando celebrates a birthday today. He turns 36 years old. He has a nice voice. Yeah, he does. A celebrity with a strong political past is joining the debate on whether the U.S. should go to war with Iraq. And Kendra says a little bit more on that. Joining well, the debate. Well, yeah. First he was an actor, then he became a senator, then he's back to acting. But he joins a list of those, small list, those who are supporting the war, or at least being vocal about it. As you know, though, the list of celebrities who are against a war in Iraq is long, or is it just that they're a little more vocal? Still, as war drums get louder, several celebs who support a war or conflict with Iraq are speaking up. Former Senator and now Law and Order actor Fred Thompson has released an ad that you see there supporting the Bush administration's plans to attack Iraq. Now, in the spots, Thompson is heard praising the president's courage to protect the country against Saddam Hussein. It directly, by the way, contradicts another ad starring Martin Sheen that urges the administration not to invade. Voodoo spells, bloodbaths, skin bleaching, and a prosthetic nose. <laughs> All part of the life of Michael Jackson. Believe it or not. Allegedly. Allegedly. Well, we're getting to the alleged oh, part. Sorry. Attribution. Somebody went to J school. <laughs> um, but those are some of the outlandish allegations in this month's Vanity Fair. The magazine reports, attribution, Jackson attended a voodoo ritual where a witch doctor promised director Steven Spielberg, music mogul David Geffen, and dozens of other people of the singer's enemies on the singer's enemies list would actually die. Now, as part of that ritual, the singer also underwent a bloodbath. The magazine reports, attribution, that yes, Michael does bleach his skin white, <laughs> and he wears a fake nose to cover two mummy-like holes in his face. Michael's publicist would not comment on the article. <laughs> the show, live with Regis and Kathy Lee. Okay. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> Has found a pretty interesting way to find someone to fill in while Kelly is on maternity leave. Oh. Well, sort of. It's like an American Idol ripoff, really. The talk show plans to have a talent search for a temporary co-host. It'll come, culminate with the winner working as Regis's co-host on the April 16th show. Ex-American Idol co-host Brian Dunkelman will act as a judge and viewers will be asked to phone in and pick the winner. That person, by the way, will also get a $10,000 contract with Disney to work on possible TV projects as well as a contract with uh, a talent agent. People love that stuff. Yeah. Hey, Madonna, you know, blurred the lines of religion and sex with her Like a Prayer video. She crossed the boundaries of sexy videos with Justify My Love, and she ruined our vision with the image of her in Vanilla Ice naked in her sex book. Well, now Madge is going G-rated. Madonna is working on a series of children's books. The English Rose will be the first of five of them. That book comes out in September. So, there you have it. She's a mommy. According to British reports. Okay. Attribution. <laughs> Doing such a fine job. Thank you. I don't know if you were in the studio uh, earlier, but we talked about a vitamin story. It was royally confusing. But I can tell you, Dr. Sanjay Gupta is going to talk about this story, that ordinary daily vitamin and mineral supplements could help adults with diabetes fight off some minor infections. It's coming up later in the morning. Wow.